did all of the work for free and um, just to help the mission. Highly recommended. Uh, easy to work with, uh, a real team player on that job. Uh, do you guys recommend Adriano? Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> Adriano is their man, he can do it. He was coming over uh, in the evening, so I appreciated that flexibility. Because I did want to be involved in this project. One other thing I just wanted to mention was that when we came home and the job was done and it looked very nice, that he was also very clean and neat. There was no dust on the floors, everything was swept. The job was very reasonable in comparison with what other people would have charged to do the same job. We agreed to a price and, and he delivered for that price. There was no uh, outstanding change orders or surprises in the project. I was very pleased with that. And he took the extra effort to make sure that there was some good finishing touches that uh, uh, he took and he went that extra step. Hey, it was wonderful. You did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Did not mess up my professionally painted wall. I'll tell you guys that we were really happy with what he did and we're thankful uh, for what he did also. I mean, we got a lot of our contractors off Craigslist, but we weren't mm -hmm. going to leave this kind of finish up mm -hmm. to just anybody. We wanted Adriano to do it. He was able to get it done on time. The job that we wanted to do was finished on time. Well, it comes to my mind reliable. That's a, that's a, that's a good word to describe it. One thing I like about him is that he's also reliable. Thank you very much, Mom. All right, appreciate it. Thanks again, Adrian, Thank you. for all of your Thank support you. to me. Well, I'm very appreciative of your work. You did a great mm -hmm. job. I'm very happy with it. You did. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the performance. Thank you very much. Great time for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi everyone. This is Adrian. I was from Manhattan here at Diana Marble, and today we're going to show you how to mix a tin set. Uh, hopefully, I can help you somehow. You know? This is a thing that uh, some people try to do at home and, and I'm just going to try to show you the proper way. And of course I have my own way and some people they have a different way but in the end the, the, basic, uh, the whole idea is to have it mixed. So I have here a clean water, always must use clean water. And I have an empty bucket here and I have my tin cents. Today I'm using a leather grease. And I also have a drill and a mixture. It's kind of dirty because we use this every day, you know. So uh, what you're gonna do first, you're gonna put your water on the painted bucket. Like I said, you always use a clean water. And then you add the powder, I mean the tin cent. very important to add the water first and then the powder so it's easier to mix it you know and we will prevent to have any lumps on the on the tea stands and then you get your piece your drill your mixer put inside and start to mix As you see now, it is too loose, see, so you have to add more power. Uh, it's not good for the installation when it's too loose like this. So you gotta add a little bit more power. And then mix it up. As you see now, there's a lot of dry parts and wet parts. We're gonna mix it until it get all the same. Okay, it's done. Um, 
like I said, if you need to add a little bit more powder, because maybe it's too loose, uh, it's not good to work when it's too loose, or if it's like too stiff, it's, uh, it's hard to apply also on the floor, so you don't do that. Uh, and then when you finish, you clean your mixer and you're ready to go. And once again, thanks for watching. This is Adrian from Agent Tip Time Marble. You can always visit our website at www.imaginativetimemarble.com. See you in the next video. Thank you.